was hating, I don't feel that. I'm putting pressure on them like a Lil Mac. Niggas scared to talk to bitches, I'm a real Mac. I'll holler at a bitch and try to peel that. Get her number, call her up, and I'ma seal that. And if baby let me fuck her, I'ma kill that. Everywhere I go, I'm looking. Thugger News, the news you choose to use for the views. Just definitely told me. Because we be coming through with the truth. What it do, what it does, what it is, what it was. Let me go on this side. Boy, G up in this hole. What's your Instagram, bro? I don't even tell you. G underscore L U C K. Post that shit. Y'all follow my boy G Look, man. The fuck? Worldwide producer. Produced a lot of his. I like the I like the fading shit Toby be doing the side. G Look. Which one is it? ETCO. Everything check out. Everything check out. Out the flap, nigga. Appreciate that quote I posted this morning, bro. Good uh, assist. I be looking for them quotes, man. I love when y'all niggas be posting them positive quotes and, and save me. Because I be looking yeah, for the ones that resonate, not just to post anything. Just got look, bro. This Which one? Is. I'm always wrong with two. Which one? Which one? Which one? This one, the first one, nigga. Mm -hmm. Southside niggas be comparing haircuts. Hey, bro, which haircut you think <laughs> looks better? Nigga. It's Toby. These niggas is really over there talking about, hey, bro, which haircut is Toby? Is nigga uh, uh, uh. Then I tell you, these <laughs> niggas is hella. What does you niggas care you for so much, bro? Early in the morning, bro? I'm just I saying, my who do does it. that, dog? It's Here, bro, brother. which it's haircut? Brother, which man. haircut look the best, bro? We got hair, nigga. You don't have hair. Y'all wear damn. braids and go bald, nigga. Yeah. We used to go damn. to the fame stage. Bro. Them niggas That's, over that's here. my brother of 20 years. What haircut? Don't ask me that, bro. I, and I told you niggas the other day, I did not nah, say he be sending pictures of what this fit look like. If the nigga showing haircuts, you know this nigga is over here hitting them. Hey, bro, what this look like? These pants look too tight. I'm good. Come on, man. <laughs> Southside be doing too hey, much. Nigga, yeah. these fans look too hey, man, that nigga's hey, Southside doing Safe, too much. Fam. Hey, bro, that Versace shirt you had on at that party, let me borrow that hoe today. I want to go Safe, to the man. That's hey, let me explain shit, something to y'all. It's been my brother for 20 years. That nigga asked me who he got a better haircut. That's it, bro. Yeah. This nigga always hating, bro. Every time, bro. Stop doing that shit, bro. That's why, That's why you a north side nigga. That's why you the north side nigga you is, bro. Yeah. That's why you the north side nigga you is, bro. Hey, you throw this, man. bro. Hey. Oh, oh man. That is hilarious, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those south side niggas different, bro. They kill too. North side niggas don't give a fuck. We gonna wait that hell ten days straight. Our homeboy got to tell us, hey, bro, we going to the same club with you last week. Don't do that one again, kid. Them hoes from last week gonna be there again. You go, oh shit, they coming. All right, fuck, I'm gonna go change. Southside nigga be sending each other pictures. What this look like? <laughs> should I post this? Oh man, what filter? Uh, what filter should I use, big bro? You like the LA or you like the motherfucking no filter? Just tell me right quick. Appreciate. Niggas be overthinking. Yeah, man, at the gym. At the gym with Slim. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, my bad. She want to shine too. Everybody know Thugger News reporting out here. They know what's going on. Let's run outside, bitch. Let's get <laughs> let's get us uh, some plate. That nigga's been blowing me up since yesterday, that commercial break. Yeah, man, they out you. They out you. They out you. They out you, man. So yeah, man. What we on? You see how I just freestyle? How you know I'm tapped in with God every day, man? The information I give y'all, I don't plan it, I don't think about it. I just be live reporting, talking to y'all, and it end up being some positive information being spread. Now I said some positive shit. Somebody positive, I think Hip Hop Wolf. Shout out Hip Hop Wolf for not being fake and actually not taking out the bullshit I say or not even bullshit, the shit that people don't agree with so much and just tapping into the gems a man try to provide to the people because this is a positive platform, motivating platform, no dumb shit platform. We ain't with no dumb shit on this platform. We all on positive, not going to jail shit, mindset, stronger shit, get better activity. You know what I'm saying? Shit you need to hear, shit you need to see. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. ETCO over 20 years solid. Though. They can't trick us, man. We what? We know each other, man. You can't tell me shit about my brother. The fuck? Yeah. So we ain't scared about the newcomers who got all these extra opinions, man. 
We move different. We know we different. We know we rare. It real is rare. And this is what you got to understand when living your life. The real people are going to be the people who be alone a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? The realest people are going to be alone a lot of the time because a lot of people don't want to live in reality. Ooh, that sounds like the sermon right there. A lot of people don't want to live in reality. A lot of people want to put that filter on the picture. A lot of people want to put that filter on the picture. They want to, filter they want to ask bro, you know what I'm saying, which filter to use. Why the fuck this nigga got me lighting up on this nigga? Come on, what's going on? That nigga really be on this whole hating. He be hitting y'all with that positive shit, then he just start hating. Mixed it's a little positive hate together. That's what you do, bro. Right. I yeah. accept that. I yeah. accept that. I don't mind doing that. Place. Place the <laughs> I feel like it balanced out. It's good to be balanced. So fuck it. You know, if that come what it is, it is what it is. So yeah, all you women who diss niggas out here, I'm gonna speak up for y'all dudes out here in the world. Listen, man, you waking up ugly like me. You, we get up on this bitch, bro. We don't over. If you from the south side, if you from the south side, you start checking fields. It take ten hours to post and shit. Me, I just jump on this hoe. Beard raggedy. Shout out, hey, that nigga who tried to draw me, nigga, we got a wanted sign for you, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's how you, that's <laughs> how you, bro. He drew your inner soul. He drew your uh, inner soul. That's how you look at your inner soul. We looking boy. for you, nigga. We got a ransom for you, boy. You did us dirty with that motherfucking yeah. drawing. That nigga wrecked that hoe. Yeah, that nigga. We looking shine. for you. <laughs> <laughs> nigga shine. <laughs> See how you niggas be hating. They like that. That's cool. I tell y'all wasn't no easy to draw a nigga, so I knew that wasn't gonna be that easy. Drew you, that nigga drew you on the T. Yeah. Well, I, I know what you see in the mirror, but nigga, that was you. <laughs> that, nigga. that nigga hit that off. Wait till I catch that little nigga. Yeah, boy. He tried to get that off. We got a warning sign. For we you. got a warning sign. Me and Zero and <laughs> Kiki, we put some money together for you, bro. We gonna fire your motherfucking ass. Just gonna do some shit like that. But every day, man. A man don't give a fuck, man. So listen, as a man, while we the kings of the world, we come out here, unless you're from the South Side, we come out here ugly how we is, not giving a fuck, like coming on this bitch, no filter, you know what I'm saying? This is us. Hey, bro, what's your problem with the South Side, bro? I ain't got no problem. I just be explaining this shit, bro. I love everybody. I love the South Side. Some of my best friends on the South Side, bro. I'm just saying we different. Y'all are different. You, you got you, you right about that shit. Y'all different as fuck, but this shit you say it ain't this shit you saying ain't one hundred, fam. It's just like you got one more time with the south side. You do, bro. You be tripping, fam. Mind y'all, where he at is on the south side right now. This is where he be at every day. This is where he comfortable at on the south side. So I don't even yeah. know why he does this shit. Hey ladies, so give a nigga a break, man, because a nigga ain't got the filter you got. Nigga ain't wearing the makeup you wearing. Nigga ain't get his ass done and shit like y'all be doing titties and all the face implants and shit. Y'all do a lot of cheating out here, man. Y'all really ain't, you really what you is when you get out the shower. And when you talk to people on the internet, talk to them like you when you get out the shower. So you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, a bitch can't say all that because I ain't got my shit together either. I got shit I need to work on. I shouldn't be standing on business like this with this man. He just trying to get him a, a, a woman and, you know, trying to, you know, make an attachment. Don't be slandering the dudes out here. You broke. You got on makeup. You ain't did as uh, you ain't really looking like you look. You are you ugly. Ass. You ain't got your shit fixed though. You got your shit done. So you can't yeah, really shit on us like that. Uh, uh, Keep that same attitude you had before you got the work Dan done. Newton was talking to man. What's her name? Carter. Whatever her name is. Yeah, he was like, so I can't deal with no fake nigga. She was like, a nigga with fake jewelry on. And he was like, so, fake jury? And he was like, but your hair fake, your lashes fake, your body fake, your hair fake. You made a nigga with fake Nails jury. fake. You won't talk to a nigga with Everything fake. Everything fake. You got a whole costume on like it's Halloween, and you over here dissing uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I see the one they say, uh, it say, oh, so you won't, you won't fuck with a nigga who stay with his mama, but you'll fuck with a nigga who stay with his wife. They say I'm a witness nigga. <coughs> you a witness nigga? Yeah. But anyway, oh yeah, they say you was, you were what? You uh you you won't fuck with a nigga that stay with his mama, but you'll fuck with a nigga that stay with his wife. Facts. This is this is America. <laughs> this, is this is America's teaching. This is what we at with the toxic world. Like we don't know where it went bad at, maybe in the crack era. But it's a different world than it was, man. It's different bad in the crack 
it's a different world hey, than bro, it was. Speaking All of that, bro, shit, you we, said some shit on your live yesterday, bro. You can't speak on regular people's problems, bro. Okay. This nigga on this whole talking about women is masculine and this and that. Hey, bro, you can't do that, bro, because you live a different life from us, bro. You I'm saying, you don't life. think women is acting masculine? They are, but that's not their biology to do that, bro. So you really encouraging them to do some bullshit. I'm encouraging them, or I'm yeah, just you, saying what's going on. It. You supporting it. I'm not supporting it. Yeah, I'm yeah, just bro. saying what it is. It's Why are you offended by it. women being masculine, though? You say what? Why are you? What, what did I say that you don't like? I'm confused. You be giving regular people advice that you don't take because you don't live a regular people lifestyle. And how? I'm confused. Keep going, though. I, I got you. But what are we saying? Because you you are su you successful. Because so. I'm a rapper. Yeah, my life, rapper. Is Your life is different from the average, than the person, average person. Exactly. Okay. If people feed into that shit, you be saying. And you what what part are they feeding into that I'm wrong of? Uh, these women don't need niggas for this and this and that when they actually do need niggas for shit. Every what? everything. What do they need them for? Everything. When like they call, when when women when, when motherfuckers is in trouble and they and they fucked up and they call nine one one who who coming. I seen a video yeah. the other day. Who come? I seen a video the other day that was on the internet where a nigga was getting robbed and his gal came out with the chopper. That's one time. That's one nigga. That don't happen all the time. That happened one time. Yeah, that happened. It's, that, that did happen. That's where the world at right now, bro. Nah, that's not that's where the world what's at right now. That's mostly going on. Nah, women guy. is the men. Nah. Women is the breadwinners. Am I lying? Men made the world for men, women to be comfortable. Right. All right, so you can't say that. So you still need men. I'm not saying you don't need men. But you make I'm just like saying women. You can't encourage that type of shit. I'm encouraging it? Yes, you speaking on it. Like, I, what yeah, makes, yeah, what makes me bro. encourage it? I'm, I'm confused. This shit you were saying on your live yesterday. I was saying what, though? I'm confused. I don't remember encouraging it. I remember just saying that that's what it is. You, but you should be saying that's not what it is, though. You should be encouraging That's a lie, though. Huh? That's a lie if I say that's not what it's it is. It's not in the women's biology to be masculine. It ain't about biology. It's about. It is it's about. Day. Money. It's about money women. Women are the breadwinners, so they have to be COVID. masculine. People had money doing COVID, and they, that didn't do shit. Right. Women was still fucked up by here, scared because they was by themselves. You saying it like I, I'm saying that I want the world to be like this. I'm not. I ain't say you didn't, but you shouldn't be encouraging it. Though. I'm not even encouraging. It. I'm just saying to this is what's going on. on. That's the problem I'm not people. saying don't be with nobody. I don't. I encourage people to be together who can be together. Uh, but I'm not saying I'm just telling you Reporting that Stugger News This is where the world at right now this shit, bro. You don't want to hear the truth? We already know the truth We need some change It sounds like the truth offends you No, I don't I'm, I live in the truth I know what's going <laughs> on The truth offends you, my It sounds like the truth offends you, my brother <laughs> Yeah My truth offends you, my brother That nigga stupid, bro Come on the truth of it is like roll the window on that nigga. Yeah. Hey man, it sounded like the truth. Is that no come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> she don't wanna be on fucking dudes, huh? <laughs> the nigga sound like a brother. Come here. <laughs> this is juice, y'all. Juice is loose. Tell them your page. You on thugging news. We gotta get you some promo in. I'm sure was right today. I seen it. What's your Instagram? Get fit, stay juicy, underscore. Get fit, stay juicy. And what else? Underscore. Underscore. Get fit, stay juicy, underscore. She gives massages. She is a personal trainer. What else am I missing? That's it. That's it. Personal trainer and massage lady. If you need to get some work done, get at the juice. The juice is loose. I just wanted to give you a shout out. Thank you. Watch out. Look both ways before you leave. Right, I need to go eat. Yeah, turn up. Go on, get them gains. Get them gains. Okay, Juice, I see you. I see you. I see you, Juice. Yeah. Yeah, I told you niggas you ain't at the gym. Y'all missing out. <laughs> but yeah. What's up, boss? I got warrant, though. Hey, man, my boy Ken, I own the gym, level one fitness. If you... I ain't got no muscles like us. Get you some. Stop pull up. Playing with yourself, man. Come sign up. Right now is the perfect time, nigga. It's uh, Ebony Fit Weekend. And it's finna be a bunch of bad Stupid. bitches from all over the world. Stupid. And if this just the gym membership right here you've been seeing, if you want to see some bad and shape bitches, not bitches, I'm sorry, women, <laughs> come to uh, Level 1 this weekend. Boy, it's going to be lit. No. I'm sorry. I, I'm a hood North nigga. I cuss a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I don't mean no harm ever. I never want to call a, I never call a woman a bitch. I don't even remember the last time. Maybe that little stalker out here. But outside of that, I ain't call a woman a bitch. I love women. Yeah. I say his muscles are bigger than dude's head. Not my boy Justo head. Not Bobble head Justo. Nah. 
Nah, but nah, yeah, they man. Got, they got a little Houston theme tonight for the little open lift thing. So they're supposed to have some slabs. We want to see who want to pull, pull the slab. On the see, game. niggas who ain't got slabs don't understand that. Pulling out the slab is not a quick process. I already know. You, know what I'm you gotta I already know. put batteries in slabs. You gotta, you gotta motherfucking make sure that plugged up. Plug, crank that hoe up. Make sure we uh, up to date on everything. Motherfucking wash that hoe. They gonna be like, man, bring the slab out, bro. That big that guy stuck dust. up for a whole month. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go get a transmission. Let me go sit the rodeo. Yeah, you say when tonight? Tonight they got like this. Uh, this is an Ebony Fit thing. Yeah, tonight. Where is that? It'll be right here in the back. Oh no shit. Man, I'll see. I'm going to go home in a minute after the running, and I'll tell my brother to see what it's looking like if I can make it happen. But yeah, cause I got to get ready for out of town. Hopefully, I got time. I might have, what time is that? Like eight, eight, yeah. I, I might be able to make it happen. It's right down the street. I'll let you know. Yeah, I got to go to New York. I'm going to miss the whole weekend, bro. Hell no. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. You know what I'm saying? That was a good one, kid. That was a good one. I'll take that. I'll take that, kid. It's cool. That was a little. That was good. Damn, even hear you though, nigga. Uh, <laughs> it was still muted from the motherfucking other early one. Sounds are went on good. I'm glad y'all didn't get that one. They tried to shine on the real one. Yeah. Boy, they tried to shine on the real one, kid. No more commercials for you, kid. <laughs> yeah. Can y'all hear me now? Uh, let me see. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You can hear me? Like I said, we heard him. Ah, uh, yeah. I see how they uh, to take my uh, guy. Damn, you see how when you did, when you big slim, everybody trying to kill you? It's like, damn, hey, I want to shoot me. This nigga just though just said that I encourage women to be men. Never in my conversation yesterday did I say women need to be men. I'm going to look at the I'm Yeah, gonna go, go look back at and look at again. that. That was wrong with a lot of y'all youngsters, fool. And this is why, this is a good example. I thank you for saying that, my brother. <laughs> a lot of people, and this is what we have to understand, even y'all, even me sometimes, right? We in the world of, we'll look at the short clip that somebody posted, and we'll take that as the whole conversation. And like I say, as you witness me talking to y'all, saying all this positive shit, they go and pick, they choose the, sh the, the certain lines that they, uh, that'll get them clickbait or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the times the shit people be saying everywhere, not just out here, with everybody gets misconstrued, people don't, people get the wrong message and begin to speaking on that person, speaking on what happened and you know, and they got the wrong message. It wasn't even the truth. It was clickbait. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So as a common censor and then being in a cult, we can't waste our time explaining shit to the special ed, man. If you're not going to take the extra, if you're not going to take time to do the extra studying of, let me make sure this is what was really said before I jump out here with this. Let me do the real research and listen to what this whole conversation was. <clears throat> and know what this person was really trying to say. If you don't have the energy to do that, then don't have the energy to speak on shit. Period. You know what I'm saying? Straight up like that. This is how we got to move as human beings. You go out for a little clip and some shit and you've been and said some shit and the man wasn't even on that. You see that happen to me every single day in real time. My bad, bro. You see that happen to me every single day in real time. So to the people who all the, the everybody else got their own TMZ and shit, all y'all want to be TMZ now, at least do good work. Be solid about your work. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you want to speak on some shit, make sure you at least got the energy to take the time to hear the full conversation before you speak on some shit. Not just with me, everybody. You know what I'm saying? This will be, see, the internet is the wild, wild west, man. Is no rules. They putting rules as oh, we shit. go, but a lot of the times they don't. Have, here come this crowd chasing me. <laughs> every fucking time, bro. God, God damn. Say, what's up, Jesus, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought you went running or some shit, yeah, man. Bro, you, I 
I ain't no use over here. Wow, this nigga wanna be on the Thugger News so bad. I'm not paying you. This shit finna be straight, motherfucker. You ain't just though. Y'all nigga be clout chasing. This shit finna be straight. Let's say it on live. This shit is straight intern work you niggas doing. We ain't really fucking with y'all. Like y'all can pull up, do some, pull some crates around, move some records on this shit. But we ain't really y'all ain't like visitors, bro. You nigga wanna be on hey, nigga, 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 bro. Pull up and move some crates around, nigga. That's how this nigga do, bro? This nigga is crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Intern status. Yeah, but back what I was saying, man. For these idiots, uh, be um, in, uh, interrupting me, bro. <laughs> Let's have the, the internet is the wild, wild west right now. A lot of rules haven't been placed on it. You know what I'm saying? People still trying to figure shit out. People winning out for that. The actually, the uh, the fucking um, streaming, the the streaming platform. Understand this. Understand this, man. Most people who are billionaires, they 10 years ahead of us with this thinking. Apple iPhone, Apple as a company, I already know what the iPhone 30 going to be. You know what I'm saying? They know what iPhone 30 going to be already. They not going to drop iPhone 30 right now and skip the technology that leads to that. That don't make sense. The money way to do it is keep dropping the 16, add a little new feature, drop a 17, add a new feature. Keep motherfucking spending that money every year. This is how billionaires think. You know what I'm saying? They don't try to give you everything right now. They try to spread that shit out where they can keep getting that bread. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people know what's going to happen 10 years ahead. So they take advantage of the motherfuckers who don't think like this. Rappers. The the Instagram platform, Instagram internet came, right? Wild Wild West. They don't know. Labels is, oh shit, now they got their own power. They don't really need us. They can drop their own shit. They don't have to press up records. It's too easy. Let's get with the people who Apple and Jimmy Iovine. Let's go run Apple now. Let's put everybody on a record label. Now, let's since ain't no rules yet and ain't nobody regulating this shit. Let's rape them and give them cents on they on they uh, music and give them the lowest <laughs> percentage we can give them because ain't no rules in this shit to stop this yet. Until they. Figure it out. Rappers who always got a lie and say they ain't got money, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't gonna really come out and say, man, I'm fucked up, my label fucking over me a lot of the times. Cause they got a fake like they up, you know what I'm saying? Until they going through some shit, then they start, man, go fund me. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, until <coughs> the wild, wild west. <coughs> I, I, I fuck with me. Go ahead, go ahead. Get more regulated. The, the entertainer get some sort of uh, what you call them people? Um, what the fuck you call them people that everybody got except my fucking ears? Um, some people to fight for. What the fuck you call them people? That you ain't no fucking help as. What you call the people who be fighting for you? Like, if you play sports, they fight for the real. Oh, now you gotta pay them this. What that is? Dumbass nigga on Southside can't help you with nothing. Come on, man. Union, let's go, T. Davis. I ain't no fucking union in this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? So, with it not being a union. All right, bro, you going to the park? Yeah. All right, see you. Ain't no union making no moves for us. Regulating shit. Nah, that's fucking over them. That ain't right. All right, bro. Now, you ain't seen my, I, I had texted you the other night. You seen my shit? Nah, what happened? I had texted you. I was actually about, about the song. I, I texted you. What did you send that song to? I, I dropped it to you. So it'll be in my files? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot, I'll check it out. Yeah, so it ain't no union that's on these people about this shit right now. Like, hey, you can't fuck over them like that. So until we figure that type of shit out, <clears throat> we gonna keep getting fucked over. Do you not know these people not know this shit? They don't, they know... They know exactly everything going on. They know this shit 10 years ago. Oh, we, by the time they figure this shit out, we're going to be 100 billion strong on their bitch ass. And they're going to be like, damn. <coughs> Motherfuckers who can't even do no music, get more money than us off our music. Just because we using a platform. That don't make no motherfucking sense. That don't make no motherfucking sense. You feel me? So, like I say, the internet is the wild, wild west. Still, it still ain't 
like a city with the rules already and, and you know all the rules in place they just figuring this shit out as we go you know it's figuring it out as we go what else going on in the world how do you handle people acting like they are you the fake pages i don't handle them man i don't fuck with people like this oh yeah back to what i was saying so yeah it be motherfuckers who don't even get an energy to do the research so you can't waste your life arguing with special ed people and people who don't give a fuck to care about if they right or wrong you know what i'm saying you just gotta ignore them dumb fucks and talk to them talk think about them like that man i'm not talking to you slow special ed motherfuckers who surface level thinkers motherfuckers who don't even actually do the work and research before they speak on shit you know what i'm saying like you gotta have this type of mindset and know how to block all that shit out you feel me so straight like that. You got to look at people who do dumb shit as dumb people that don't count in the world. A dumb opinion don't count in the world. A motherfucker who ain't did shit in their life telling the motherfucker who got their shit together some advice or ranking on them or laughing at them from their mama couch or in the hood laughing at Diddy. It don't make no fucking sense. You seen the nigga houses on motherfucking... Um, the the fucking raid. Stop talking about people. You gotta catch up, kid. You got a lot of shit you need to be fixing. If we got into the personal of how your family fucked up, it'll be all kind of same shit going on. You just ain't got no money, so ain't nobody suing you. And that's it, kid. That's what life is. Everybody fucked up. I'm not gonna stop talking shit. This is real life. How you know, it, it, how you say some, you say people are wrong or whatever, but how you make this assumption without a criminal charge? Off of what you heard, you don't know people, you ain't never been to these parties, none of that. You just, oh, it's funny, but at the end of the day, you laughing at a billionaire, what the fuck is you doing? Like, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at life. I don't got I got a lot of shit I gotta fix before I can be laughing at anybody. You know what I'm saying? In my life. And that's how I move around with everybody, not just one person. Everybody. I don't want nobody problems. You know what I'm saying? I got my own. But I ain't a nigga who turn his back on his people that fast. Like I just ain't doing that, man. I don't like the I don't think no white billionaire ever ever had a military, two military tanks pull up with guns drawn, motherfucking helmets on, with guns to people, kids' heads. I, they'll never happen to a white person over what's going on. Never in life. But y'all, the slave-minded niggas, uh, cheer that shit on and let white people treat them like, treat a billionaire like a nigga in front of them and cheer it on. Niggas. They'll let a, even a billionaire getting treated like your son that's getting pulled over and treated like a billionaire. He a nigga still at a billion dollars. It was a real good uh, show they put on to show us that shit. And what's so crazy about everything, the niggas is who the main motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in America, man. You niggas is toxic. You niggas is weird. Stay away from me. I don't want none of you niggas around me, kid. I don't do like, I don't get down like that, kid. I don't want the energy, man. Straight up like that. I don't give a fuck. I want to see no nigga kid with no gun to them in cuffs. No black man, especially no billionaire. I don't give a fuck. Who ain't been uh, accusing no terrorists, choppers and shit. When he killed it, stop the cap, man. Come on now. No criminal charge yet. I don't believe that. They ain't coming out no choppers. Put guns in no kids' head. Had them white. I ain't never seen no little white girl and no white boys handcuffed from a me a billionaire with guns to their head. Oh man. So y'all keep cooning in my in my vision. Keep doing what y'all do and, and and motherfucking see what happens. See what see how shit lead to it. Yeah, y'all emotional and don't know what the fuck. The and that's what it is. And I don't give a damn who agree with me or don't. Like, it is what it is, my opinion. And one thing else I like to explain to y'all. If you don't agree with my opinion, you can't fuck with me. And I'm 
everything is real, man. I'm everything is real, man. want to keep taking care of myself that's the goal how about that staying out of the hospital bed is the goal um yeah being able to walk around this hoe at 80 and be active and not just stuck to a motherfucking wheelchair or something is the goal you know what i'm saying all the ogs i talk to it'd be like 70 year old people yeah i'm smoking this doobie too to the end like a real north side gangster. Oh, uh, all the OGs I talk to say, man, you gotta keep it moving, man. You gotta keep it moving. If you don't move it, you gonna lose it. That's what all the seventy year olds tell me at the park and shit. You gotta keep moving, man. You start stop moving, you start stiffing up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's what it is, man. You know, everybody accepting dying at 40 and shit of all these uh, different, um, you know what I'm saying, inherited motherfucking blood pressures and diabetes and all this different shit. You got to be proactive. You got to care about living. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas just don't care about living. Like, And then they'll be finding themselves in that bed. My brother, Mr. Lee, what up? I find themselves in that hospital bed and then they start panicking. Ah, you know, I ain't do this, my, I my, it's too late, nigga. You been, what about when you was killing the Hennessy, nigga, to the face, trying to show you can drink the whole bottle? What the fuck was that about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your kidney fucked up now, nigga, you need a new one. You ran through that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that, kid. What are we trying to prove? Killing the whole bottle. Sip till you drunk. And then are not drunk, sip till you feel the whatever you're trying to chase and then chill. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of yourself. If you don't wanna if you wanna be a hundred years old, you gotta take care of yourself. If you don't give a damn and, and get ready to die at 40, then just keep doing all the bad shit. Sipping drink, doing drugs, popping pills. This is all the shit that kill you early. We seen this happen over 20 years straight. Sip the drink, pop them pills on the daily. Don't do no working out. Don't drink water. Only drink soda. Eat water burger. Go to sleep on that shit. Eat fast food all day. Go to sleep on that shit. Don't do no working out. Just do all bad shit with no good shit. That's why you look like that, nigga. That's why you feel like that. That's why yo. That's why it's hard to move around, nigga. You don't feel good. How you gonna live a good life if you don't feel good, nigga? You gotta take care of yourself. You have to. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the gym, Slim. I ain't no gym ass nigga. I didn't like, can you hear me? This bitch blanking out again. What you gotta realize is, I didn't like doing this shit either. Like, it wasn't my fun thing. I wasn't like, man, I wanna go to the park and walk around that hoe, run around that hoe. It wasn't nothing I initially wanted to do. You feel me? It takes time to grow the addiction to this shit. They say 21 days create a habit. You know what I'm saying? 21 days, they say create a habit. So if you can lock in for 21 days, maybe you can create the habit of doing this shit. This is a part of hustling. You feel me? You can't be one without the other in my eyes. You gotta be a, a balanced motherfucker. How many times I tell you, hey man, and I, everything is, is good and bad and everything. It's good and bad and everything. And to be a, a top tier nigga, top percent nigga, a woman or whatever, you have to do all this shit. You can't just be good on one side. Nah, nigga, you losing still because it's niggas good on both sides. It's still, you know what I'm saying? You getting money as you're taking care of yourself, though. It's important. You know what I'm saying? Like, you I ain't saying you got to be a swole nigga. You can be whatever size nigga you want to be, but you still take care of yourself at whatever size you is. You know what I'm saying? Never give up on your life. Like, man, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to just die early, and it is what it is. I ain't going to give a damn enough to lift no weights, to walk around the neighborhood, to do nothing to try to save my life. You know what I'm saying? If you're just going to live that life, you got to expect to die early. You got to look at your shit at 50. You might need to cut that 10 years into five and get married faster because your shit ain't looking long. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real with you, bro. Like, I ain't got no time to baby you like your mama. And you want to ignore shit and act like you can keep ignoring shit. Like, it ain't, it ain't real life. Like, until you in that hospital bed and calling everybody to pull up. Bro, pull up, chill with me. You, we shouldn't even be here, my nigga. You should have been at the park with me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got to sit in this whole boy with you because you fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you can't be with me doing the shit? Being proactive, trying to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to be in these situations. You got to fix the problem for the problem. Get there. I'm not perfect. It's all kind of problems. I got this same type of shit I'm telling y'all that I don't do too. But I try my best to work towards each level on each level to be excellent at each level. It's always niggas doing better than me, more money than me, better cars, better bitches, everything. It's always going to be like that. That's the motherfucking inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, we are big tripping. I got two miles to him. I think I'm on this whole gossip. About to run out of gas. Two miles to empty. I don't know what made me think about that shit, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, if you ain't out here chasing greatness, then you kind of giving up on yourself. I just want to keep it real with you. You don't care about yourself. <laughs> Maybe like, that nigga slip a whole ass nigga, man. I'm just trying to chill, bro. I was trying to get the shipping down at the whole taste good. You don't care about yourself, friend. <laughs> Okay, I just want to let you know, okay? You don't give a damn about yourself, friend. This is why you're going through all this shit, man. You don't give a fuck, friend. You lazy. You just want to sit in the house. You want to do dumb shit all day and expect good shit to happen. You don't care, friend. I want you to. I wish you. I could make you. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is, you got to do it, friend. It's on you to do it. It's on you to do it. I can't save you. I ain't Superman, man. I can't fly. If I could fly, I would. But I can't. So, you got to do that shit yourself, friend. Let's go, though. Today to day. Don't worry about motherfuckers looking at you. We don't care. We don't care if you 500 pounds, friend. If you in the motherfucking gym... You at the park, you walking, you trying. Day one, let's go. You can have the best result. You 500 pounds, you can lose motherfucking 200 pounds and really shit on my, I, I did way more than you, Big Slim. You know what I'm saying? One mile to empty. Doug and News reporting live. Ooh, we out of there, because I know the park is one mile. We out of there. trying to go to the gas station on the other side of the mile, but I know because I run this way that this is a mile itself. Let me turn my AC off. Maybe that'll save me. Damn. Oh! Somebody come pick me up. Somebody come pick me up. Oh! Oh! Somebody come pick me up. We gonna see who down with the coke for real, man. Who got a gas can I can borrow? Let me crack the windows. God damn, trying to save you motherfuckers life. I'm about to run out of gas. Ain't this a bitch? You know niggas, niggas and old slabs. If you an old school nigga, you know, man. Let me turn the AC off. That's gonna save some gas. Let's see if this shit true or not. We better see, man. Friend, where you at? <laughs> we better see if this shit really true or not, man. We gonna see if they stand on business about this zero miles to empty or not. Damn, this whole this light is hoeing me right now. <laughs> I will be running a different type of mile a day. God damn. It ain't cut out yet. Hey, hey, hell no. Damn. Damn, 
Sam. Let's try to roll without hitting the gas. Save some gas. Try to coast a little. God damn. Y'all be quiet. Be quiet. Using too much gas. Sugar babies are that deep. A little bit too much gas. A little bit too much gas. Y'all be quiet. This was a mile right there, kid. That was a mile. I run that hole every day. Zero. 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 I say, you motherfuckers, I'm about to run out of gas. Come on, be with me, Lord. Let's show them a blessing. Let's show them how we work, God. Let's get us to the gas station safe. Let's go. You got 10 after E. Shit, I already seen that 10. That 10, they said, no. You better talk to the car, friend. Let's go, friend. Car. <laughs> Get the fuck out the way, people. Damn. Coast, coast, coast. Come on, man. Get the fuck out the way. Stopping this shit. Now I got to hit the gas. I'm going to have to push this hoe. Damn. Y'all be quiet. God damn. Right around the corner. If this bitch get out the way, I can go faster. My bad, Lord. I didn't mean to say that. Please, Lord, let's make it to the gas station. You know, we want to work out, but we don't want to push the truck. We want to just cruise. Come on, these hoes are stopping. Get out the way, man. Get out the way. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm strong, dog. Now, let me not say that, Lord, because you might take me for what I said. We about to make it, Lord. Let's go. We pray every day. I post you every day, Lord. Let's show this work. I tell these people about you on Thugger News every single day. Yes, Lord. I tell him every day, stay down with God. He got you. Let's show him. Let's show him. My bad. My bad, God. My bad. My bad, God. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I got to stay focused. I got to stay focused. I got to stay focused. Yeah, I'm going Get your weak ass out the way. This motherfucker here. I hope when I turn the corner, it don't dry the tank. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We've been here before. We did this. All our life. Let's go. We're gonna have to coast this hoe and drive out there in the traffic and just see if, if Lord got us. Uh, whatever we gotta do, but. Come on, let's go. Let's get a lot of turns. They drying the tank. It's drying the tank. It's drying the fumes all the turns. It's drying the fumes all the turns. We just gonna have to go out there and fake. Oh shit, we about to get hit by a truck. Oh, we gonna make the nigga stop. Fuck it. Oh, we out chill, we out chill, we out chill, we out chill. Oh, we about to run over some people. Oh, we about to run over some people. And there it is. Thank you, God, for showing these people that you are well and working right now we've witnessed this miracle we can put this in our 2024 bible we are on zero y'all see me right fumes and the man the og himself big homie said son don't even trip on gas you don't need no electric car <laughs> you don't need no gas <laughs> you've got gas god hey man lord thank you for showing these people how we get down how we work you know what I'm saying? They're trying some new shit out here. This big ass screen, y'all get too fancy. See, he's removing nozzle. All right. Y'all seen this shit before? 2024 Bible update. Y'all just witnessed that miracle. Look at this big ass. They get too fancy. Then gas motherfuckers making too much money. They got TV screens outside and shit. They getting too paid. We gotta figure this shit out. I was in Puerto Rico. The gas was 90 some cent. How the fuck is it 90 some cent over there? 
for motherfucking five dollars in Houston, man. Back to the talk, though. You see how God kept us alive, man? We doing this shit live, motherfucking real time, man. This is real time. You just witnessed a 2024. Man, I got you, kid. You know what I'm saying? You just witnessed that. Damn, I'm out of weed. I'm out of weed. Yeah, but it wasn't really stressful to me because I already know I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. So I don't never panic. You know what I'm saying? But... Y'all got to witness that y'all sell. At worst, I would have said, okay, I got, I want to finish say, I got muscles. I'll push this motherfucker if I got to. It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, God, we made it. Real time. You see what I'm saying? Real time, you can see this shit right now. You ain't got to even look in the Bible right now. You can see a miracle right now. All right. You know what I'm saying? I was panicking like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I be hating. Yeah, bro, you walk up on my trash can, keep. Yeah. But God, yeah. Sanders catching me here. He got that cyber truck. I'm seeing that. I'm jealous. Oh, shit. I can't even run, y'all. Thugger News continues. Thugger News continues. I can't even run. I'm trying to act like I was cool. Man, I don't never panic. You gotta, let me break this shit down to y'all while y'all just watch that miracle, right? I don't panic. At the end, I'm joking with y'all. By, by the way, this Bronco is hella light, right? Let me tell you what would've happened if if situation would've failed. I was already at the park, you feel me? I was already at the park. So all I would've had to do was push my car into a parking spot, call my brother, to bring a gas can from down the street. They in the uh, TRX, him and my bro Todd. They, by the time I did my 30 minute run, they would have been there with the gas. You don't panic, you don't over, you know what you don't do? You don't magnify problems. It, it wasn't a big deal to me. And I was finna say, i push this motherfucker if I got to. It's a, when you go to the gym and you work out, those type of situations ain't even no issue. It's like, it's, little, it's, it's a workout. You don't really look at that like, oh man, I'm out here, I'm fucked up. I, why you do me? Why this is my worst day of my life? I ran out of gas. No, I, I'm out of gas. No, we look at that shit like, okay, well, this is a workout for the day. Damn, oh, shit, no, me. Tesla truck. God damn. God damn, my neighbor got one. Everybody got one for me. Elon Musk on that bullshit. I'm a number one supporter. I like Twitter and everything. I don't make it digital. They ain't send me no fucking Tesla truck. Damn. Do I miss the Chrome Arrow era? I, I kind of wanted to go Chrome on the cyber truck. What you think? The Chrome Arrow was a movement, man. It was a bad motherfucker. But yeah, niggas who work out, look at everything like a workout. You see what I'm saying? I put my motherfucking workout club. I don't give a fuck about getting dirty in the no hoods. I push that shit out the way. And that's what you have to realize. You have to learn how to turn situations into challenges. Turn situations into uh, a workout. You know what I'm saying? Make the shit make sense. Make it where it ain't too stressful for you. But if you just sit here and life is crumbling. I keep having problem after problem. No, no, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. You magnifying the problem. You making the problem. This, I got this from Joel Osteen. I ain't going to just steal his bars and then don't say nothing. When you sit there and most of the time, the hardest part about the problem is your thinking. Damn, I'm going in. I got word after word. Most of the time, the hardest part of your problem is your thinking. You're panicking when you thought we was finna run out of gas and then you running out of gas and being in the situation and making it bigger than what it really was. 
You, oh man, now what I'm gonna do? How I'm gonna do this? What I'm gonna do this? Solution. Start thinking solutions and how to make the problem less of a problem. Let's just push this hoe to the side of the motherfucking um, parking spot. Let's run around the park, make time, do what we came to do, get that done. Wait on my brother them to get there with the uh, gas can and shit. And then by the time I finish this 30 minute run, they'll be there with the gas can. I ain't stopped, I had no delay in my day. It's just about fixing the problem and thinking about fixing the problem instead of just sitting in the problem. Oh, letting it just anxiety hit your ass out. You sitting in the room in the dark. Oh, thinking, 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 thinking. Damn, it ain't even that big of a deal. It's just you keep overthinking it. You keep stabbing yourself with the motherfucking knife. You keep stabbing yourself, making yourself hurt, overthinking about this shit. When really, you just need to think about the solution and understand that whatever happens is gonna happen. And if it's out of your control, you see what I'm saying? So, that's how you gotta move, man. Yeah, I go through shit every single day, shit that y'all couldn't even handle. But I go through it so smooth, you don't even see it in my face. You don't even see the problem. Cause you see me laughing every day, you see me in a good mood. You see me fixing my problems as I go on in life. Staying in the middle, that what you see. You know what I'm saying? That's what you see me doing. Stand in the middle and pause. Stand in the middle is when I'm up, you don't know I'm up, up. And when I'm down, you don't know I'm down, down. I'm in the middle. No matter what my bank account look like, looking like, I'm still going to the park, running three miles. My beard still look like it got split ends. I ain't combed that hoe. I'm on this bitch with ashy lips and shit, smoking weed, not giving a fuck. I always like this. You feel me? This is uh, what I do. This is how I move. You don't know the difference. I'm always in the middle of shit. You know what I'm saying? Still at the club every night. Still shaking niggas' hands, going on bike rides, acting with everybody. Like, never getting my you no know, Hollywood shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. I don't give a fuck. I'm always be me. And I live in the confidence of my hard work every single day. I live in the confidence of my hard work. I know I got my money right. I know I got my mental right. I know I give back and do shit and, and done so much shit for the city of Houston and so many people in the city of Houston and different shit. And I know I'm a positive person spreading the positive word. I know that uh, I'm handsome. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit together. And with that confidence, if you fuck with me or not, I don't really give a damn. You feel me? You can't rank on me and make me feel bad because I know I have smashed so many bad bitches. So why would I care what the fuck you saying? It don't, it don't resonate with me. It don't matter what you say because hard work and time has showed who I am, what I do. What I, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this is how you be able to move in this type of confidence and be bulletproof through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? This is how you move and be bulletproof through a lot of shit. You build up your self-confidence and your heart, and you sit in your heart on top of your hard work, like, nigga, you ain't outworking me, nigga. I got how many albums out there? I got been doing this shit 25 years, nigga. Nigga, you ain't ran three miles today, nigga. Nigga, you ain't in the gym. You ain't go to the gym today, nigga. You ain't go put in that work in the studio, nigga. You ain't put out nothing this year. You ain't paid for no movie, nigga. You ain't gave away houses in the hood. You ain't build nothing in your community, nigga. You ain't did a lot of shit I did, nigga. So, what are we talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? Who are we talking to? And why we care about what you saying? It don't matter what the fuck you saying. My hard work proves who I am. Nigga, you can't fool nobody. All you can do is hate. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what, and when you get to a point of that level, you move like you bulletproof, kid. You move like you bulletproof. That's what I'm just trying to tell you. When you can sit on top of your hard work and say, man, you know what? I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about, nigga. I got 20 cars, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not, nigga, at this point. I always say that 20 car shit because I know hood niggas like cars. I'm just speaking the language, you know what I'm saying? But I probably don't even got 20 cars keeping it real. <laughs> I just like to say it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people... Living a lie, back to what I was saying way earlier. Oh, we about to run out of time too. A lot of people living lies. They live behind filters, behind makeup, 
behind fakeness, behind they acting like they living a lifestyle they really not living. They pretending they got their shit together. So they uncomfortable with my all the talking and, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, and motherfuckers saying shit because they know it's a lot of truth behind the shit they be saying. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's the insecure. The insecure is who hiding shit, who really not who they say they is. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, and that's what it was, and yeah. So that's just the knowledge of what, what the world is, kid. I'm still finna hit Memorial after I get my hair cut, please believe. I'm I can't let you chumps catch me. So don't think that, I'ma post it in my story. You gonna see my paperwork, nigga. Just to make sure I keep leaving you niggas in my dust. Make sure I got more money than y'all and still working harder than y'all. It's my thing I gotta do. So yeah, don't think this shit over, nigga. I'm finna get a haircut and go do this shit. Straight up like that. But I hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope you snap into it. Get your money right. Head to success. Be the greatest you you can be, nigga. And don't just give up on yourself and not give a fuck about your life. I hope you take the time every day to take care of yourself and balance your life out. And if you gonna do bad, do good. Yeah, fix yourself, kid, because, yeah, that's the only way it's going to work. And I'm up out of here, God bless you. Thugger News, the news you choose to use for the views. It's definitely told me. Because we be coming through with the true, what it do, what it does, what it is, what it was. Let me go on this side. Boy, G up in this hole. What's your Instagram, bro? Let me tell you. G underscore L-U-C-K. that shit. Y'all follow my boy G, look, man. The fuck? Worldwide producer produced a lot of his. I like to talk, I like the fake shit Toby doing the side. Whipping up this music like crack rock Distribution from the booth to the black top I'm like Dino Brown on the black top I could flip a hundred pounds and some crack rocks I ain't talking about dope, this is rap talk I be hustling coast to coast on the black top Had to get it out the mud and the asphalt Running off on the plug, that's a bad thought If you want the whole thing, I could whip it up Drink, wrap it in plastic and seal it up I can even bust it down from a CD Break you off a couple singles or an EP You can meet me at the spot around high noon Get it off the SoundCloud and the iTunes I got eights and sixteen slide through I whip up that crack music you can ride to I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got your stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got your stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop Like Stone Cold, I got the game in the chokehold I be running through them things by the boatload Had to lace the beat up with a dope flow I got the streets going cuckoo for the cocoa You can bang this in your coupe or your photo Turn it up when you cruising in your low low I whip it up for the hustlers on the go though Who give a fuck about these suckers or the popo I keep a low pro creeping on the solo The white boys fucking with me down in low though I keep the 44 watching for the hokey dope I gave a product for the watch and the donkey rope Every time I drop they say it knocked for Sholi though My Asian partners got it popping out in Tokyo Worldwide distribution got it mapped out I'm in the south pushing music in the trap house I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got your stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop I be whipping up this music like crack rock Cook it up and distribute it to the black top Got your stereo booming like a crack spot I can move a quarter chicken on a laptop